Well, hello guys, this is Vitaly from thegoldbergmedia.com. Today I'm gonna show you three the best tools ever for testing your website load speed. Let's move on. The first tool, as you probably already know, is PageSpeed Insights by Google. So I'm gonna check my test website tgmwebguru.xyz and we'll check this out. I'm gonna type in your website name and click on analyze. So here we've got two tabs. It's mobile devices and desktop. So it's so for mobile devices it says it needs work. It's 79 points out of 100 and for desktop is 84 points out of 100. So here we've got some possible optimizations the issues that we can fix so actually if we click here uh, the Google will tell us will give us the best way to fix this issue so in this particular case we can see that we have JavaScript and CSS files in above the fault content you better avoid this thing but this may happen this may happen because of a lot of things like your theme your plugins that you're using and so on and so forth next issue that we have here is it says reduce server response time it means that our server working not so well as we probably want uh, the next issue optimize it says optimize images and it says which images we can fix so it's banner 1 jpeg in my case and banner 2 uh, it says it's you can reduce it up to 23 percent in both cases then again it's javascript and css file issues uh, it says you better minify them to increase your load speed okay so for desktop tab we have possible optimizations everything is pretty much the same but the priority changes it says first priority for desktop is images again it's two images banner one banner two up to 23 percent of reduction then we gotta reduce server response time and then we have to minify CSS and JavaScript files so it's pretty simple right let's move to the next one the next tool is jtmetrics.com it works pretty much the same as Google page speed insights but a little bit different so again you gotta type in your website name and click on analyze and you're gonna wait for a while and then you will check up your results so we have our report and it says that page speed score is a it's 95 percent out of 100 and here we've got like different areas of our website like different parts uh, little parts of our website and we've got grade for each of these little parts like minify javascript again so basically here we can see the lowest grade that we have and in this particular case we can see here it says remove choir string from static resources and all we can see is that um, we've got some issues in photo gallery plugin that we use and the next part is um, issues in our theme that we're using so you know the lesson learned you gotta avoid using plugins the less plugin you use the healthier website you have that's the rule and you got to choose your theme very carefully like in this case this theme generates all kinds of files that that reduce our download speed okay everything else is pretty much the same you just find your lowest grade and see what you can do with that Again, JavaScript in our case is B and Minify JavaScript B as well. Everything else is pretty good. Here we can see the Wiseload tool tab. 
so here we've got F grade on SDN because um, obviously don't use it and make fewer HTTP requests so it's again style sheets CSS and JavaScript again it's F and F again minified JavaScript and, S and CSS it's C grade and B at L expires headers that's because of this Google fonts issue here we can see the waterfall speed each element of our website have also we have timings tab and even video tab also we can check history here how it was how it's now so and that's the G metrics tool feel free to use it it's completely free and the last tool for today is web page test dot Org. so again you gotta type in your website name choose the location the test location so uh, if you're uh, in North America have to use uh, servers in North America if you're South America or in Europe you have to choose this locations so I'm gonna I'm gonna just take this Denver Colorado Chrome Firefox Internet Explorer 11 and browser Chrome and let's click start test okay we've got our wrapper so basically it's not so bad so we've got different grades for each type of test so first one is load time then it go first byte then it goes to start render so what it means it means that basic load time of this web, web page is about 3 seconds to get the first byte it takes a bit less than 1 second which is pretty good start render is when uh, the user uh, stops seeing the white screen and start getting the pictures and text and everything else it's about 2 in 2 seconds and as I mentioned before load time the basic load time is around three seconds so first byte time is C actually it's not A and it's not B because it's pretty good but it's not so good the best time is below 200 milliseconds okay so it's it's quite fast and what it means it means that you gotta work on your uh, hosting and your server and try to um, upgrade your speed there because this first byte time is about your server it's not about your website it's about your server it has to be good okay we can click here on this waterfall uh, screenshot we can see here every single element on our website and what it takes to download it like this one this web font uh, it's red because it takes too long to download this and you can think about how you can fix that here again we have green areas and this purple areas which tell you if everything is good or not also you can click on the grade actually and see why you have this grade or that grade so it says first byte time backend processing is 75 out of 100 points so this what we've got and this what it should be everything else is pretty good we've got zip compression we've got compressed images we don't use CDN for all static assets and for example here you can see that image compression is not really working for this one it's better one so what you can do is you can go to your website and reduce this image weight so it will be faster and you'll have better grade on this one so that's pretty much it guys I showed you today these three amazing tools for testing your website speed it's page speed insights again it's GT metrics and it's webpagetest.org. Feel free to use them, they're completely free and they're great.
that's about it guys for the day hope you have a good time with me feel free to contact me through my email or in the comment box below or through my website is the Goldberg Media Com. Hope you well, wish you the best and see you next time. Until the next time, bye bye.